Hey guys, Crystal Thompson here for Studio Cadia. Today we have a die cut watercolor using the Stancid Blooming Bunch. Stay tuned for this quick tutorial. To begin, we are going to be using the Studio Cadia dotted scallop oblong die. This is absolutely gorgeous. We're also going to be using, as I said, the Bloom in Bunch stamp set. And to top off, we're going to be using the April Crystals along with a set of watercolor markers. We're going to begin by placing our stamp, our floral stamp and the sentiment on our misty. We're going to measure out where we're going to place the scalloped oblong. We're going to ink everything up with black ink. And I like to rub my misty with a paper towel and really rub that over instead of squishing it down. It just seems to have better coverage. Now that that's ready to go, we're going to die cut with the dotted scallop oblong. Remove that from the card and now we are ready to color. Using watercolor markers, we are going to begin by coloring directly onto the cardstock. And this is regular cardstock, this is not watercolor. We're going to add some of that color into an acrylic block and grabbing the color with a watercolor brush to really blend that out. We're going to repeat the process on the floral, starting with the shadows using that pink watercolor marker, putting some on an acrylic block, and then coming in with a watercolor brush and really blending everything in so there's gradients from dark to light. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to speed up the coloring. Now for the background, we're going to begin with three colors, orange, yellow, and red, and just grabbing that from the acrylic block and placing we're going to set that aside and then back onto our misty, we are going to stamp the blooming bunch onto the actual card base of the card. We're using a really light pink ink. We're going to stamp both sides of the card, just flipping it over and that's okay if it overlaps. Using two pieces of foam adhesive to really raise this up, we're going to place it off to the right of the card and then we're going to finish it up with the April crystals using our Studio Cadia glue which dries clear just in case if you over dab just like I do. And that does it. Thank you so much for joining us in this quick tutorial using the Blooming Bunch and the Started Scallops Oblongs. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you loved it, feel free to share. Thank you so much. Have a great day.